given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. Right, go the Virgo Tarot 2222 and Sagittarius Gang Gang. Me a pop up pun you. It's your December love reading, gang gang. Come to spill some tea upon you. So let's just get straight to it. Sagittarius, let's get straight into your reading, but first. Let me introduce you to my merchandise, my G's. These are selling like hotcakes. These are little goodie bags. Blessings and blessings infused with Ricky, my crystals, and key rings, also crystal key rings, frankincense, a wand, a special card, and love from your girl. A prayer and a blessing pocket sized from me to you to put in your purse put the keychain on your car your house keys there's protection crystals like this one which is a protection crystal made by my daughter she may be the set she's also making meditation and manifestations and grounding bracelets and also anklets lots more to come and belly beads so look out for that crystal clear wares coming at you very soon. So let's get to Sagittarius as my words get mixed up. It's quite late in the UK. So yeah, your girl's out for you, but my words are getting a little bit muddled. So I'll take my time. As you can see, the three in one is back. We're going to put the light seals deck over to the left hand side. It's been charging with the rose quartz. This is strictly a love reading. I love reading my G's. It will not be mixed with finances or spirituality. Strictly love, love, and more love. Oh, shit, then. Wow. Spirit showed up for you. The number 21 adds up to the number 3. I see you also getting a gift. Everybody's getting a blessing and a gift from Spirit. Spirit's bringing in Christmas early for everybody. Sagittarius is getting a gift and look at this shit. Oh my god. Skirt. Look at that. Blessings upon blessings. Somebody sees you for who you really are. They actually see you. Somebody wants to spend forever with you. I see somebody watching you, gang gang. And this is divinely guided this person wants the world with you the family all of that i see pregnancies people getting together and having a baby people getting married who god put together let no man put asunder free 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 is on the deck people the number 21 is the number three free again Free, even though 30, 31 is a number four, but I see free freeze. Universe, recognitions and rewards and faith. God wants to give you everything. Everything that you prayed and asked for, Sagittarius. You also have a blessing on the way, a proposal of sorts. Somebody wants to marry you. They want to have that baby with you. They want your last name. Or they want to give you their last name. Somebody recognizes and sees you for exactly who you are. You've shown them the real you. And they love it. Somebody's been watching you on the net. On the internet, somebody has their eyes on you. Sagittarius. Somebody's a little bit shy. They think you're awesome. Incredible. They have you up on a pedestal, my Jews. And that's where they plan to keep you. They said she's bae. He's the boss. He's king. And they just want to have the babies with you. I can hear Chris Brown. 
Fuck around, give you my last name. <laughs> Somebody wants to marry you, man. Because you got it, girl. You got it. You got it. Somebody just digs you, man. So coming into December, somebody's been watching you. They have their eyes on you. Oh, shit, them. You're their drug. Look at that temptation and deception. You're this person's drug. Tempted to touch, tempted to touch. They are. They can't stop thinking about you. This person could be in a relationship and they're willing to cheat. For somebody, this is an ex. <laughs> For somebody, this this is the return of the exes. What is going on? It's like, are we still in retrograde? People are revealing themselves to you. And this is in a good way. So that person that you call devil, demon, is coming back. That's for some of you. They can't get you out of their mind. They can't let you go. They've been watching you who. And this person wants to marry you too. Look at that. Your dreams. Your prayers and manifestations come into fruition. Everything you've ever wanted and desired. So the ex is changed. But for a lot of you, I see new love. New, abundant, beautiful love. Full of passion. Growing and glowing, people. Growing and glowing. Huh? You're glowing. Got that pregnancy bloom. It's coming. It's coming, girls. It's coming. It's coming to fruition, they said. Have some faith. That baby... It's on the way. Have some faith, gang gang. The number 10. It's completion. You finally got what you wanted. You've ended some cycles and you're starting a whole new phase. A whole new chapter. And this chapter is full of growth. Full of love. Because you set your intentions, you know who you are, you're that bitch, you're that guy, the king, the queen, the magician, setting your intentions, remember, so I said your intentions, manifestations, and your visualizations have been answered, have been answered, look at that, you're fully focused, your will and your focus is bringing you what you need, and what you need is simply love, sweet love, love, love. And it's coming in. Your person is on the way. No gender in tarot. I see a child involved. So somebody is coming. Coming back or on their way. Because there is somebody coming back whether you want them to or not. Everybody's ex is coming back it seems. It's the month of the coming backers. They just realize what the hell they've lost and they're trying to come back to get you back. Whoa, they spell it out. Somebody wants this with you to tie the knot. Partnerships and alliances. So I see people growing and glowing, man. Having children together. So much confirmations. So much confirmations of growth. People exchanging energies exchanging energies my g's because you've been through some shit but it was to build your resilience for this love for this love so i feel like you've been through so much relationships so much snakes and now spirit is giving you hope hope <laughs> that you are gonna be married my g's because you've been through some shit right you've been through it the extremes of life that's you look at the contrast that's your life right can't trust no one so much burdens weighing you down so much memories 
so much things happen to you, so much traumatic stuff. But then look, a gift from spirit. You celebrating your marriage, your baby shower, your engagement, your success. So we've got four threes on deck. Do you know how much threes is coming in for you? Because in the end, you're going to be shining, 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 shining. <laughs> You're going to be glowing. I see you giving and receiving this light now. Somebody has got your heart. You said yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's you saying yes. Somebody's offering you love. That's you receiving it. The giving and receiving. So beautiful, right? Spirit says trust this process. Trust it. You went through some shit. You've been through some shit. But this was all part of the process by Jesus. All part of it. And now they want you to enjoy this abundance, this goodness. But you need to trust in the divine that they're making a way where there is no way for you. Sometimes it's what you see, but that's an illusion. This is what's really coming in for you. Somebody to spend the rest of your days with, somebody to hold your hand in the good days and the bad, someone that sees you for who you are, who you are. They think that you're their star. Wish fulfillment's coming out again. Sagittarius, somebody loves you and they wanna marry you. They wanna offer you this love. They wanna make you happy hope you receive it at the bottom of the deck right now somebody is so disrupted so depressed not letting go of the past holding on to people and things that have let them go and that they just cannot change this speaks of you not trusting the process not being open to flow being blocked in every area of your life. Not setting those boundaries, allowing people to manipulate you, to abuse you, to treat you badly. And all spirit needs you to do is surrender. Surrender. Let it go. And then you will see everything start to grow in your life. It will grow. It will grow. All they need you to do is take back your power. Take it back from you from you because you've given it over given it over to fear to that person that's manipulating gaslight and abusing you whoever whatever they say you have the power to reclaim your power and stand in it because there's so much growth coming in for you all you need to do right now is surrender to the divine they are working on your behalf set those boundaries and be open to flow. Be open to the healing that's coming in. Be open. Let's get the tarot for you, Sagittarius. As that reading was so all over the place. But whoever it resonates with, it resonates with. Take what you need and leave the rest. I'm not here to make shit up. I'm just here to interpret it. The amethyst is charging. The stone bringing in clarity. Warding off those negative energies, my dears. Helping with your memory, helping you to focus in this time. Let's see what the cards have to say. The tarot, the light seer's deck, has to say for Sagittarius. Spirit messages for Sagittarius regarding their love life, man, or the lack thereof in December. What a go on for them. <laughs> What's going on? Anything more? Anything more, spirit? Just gonna keep shuffling until they give it to you. Something's coming in real quick with the Eight of Wands. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But I see something's happening for you real quick. And I see celebrations. Oh, shit, then. You getting clarity, being fully focused in this time. Setting your intentions and then getting everything you want. And what is it you want? Everything. Every blood clot ting. Everything. And you're getting it. You're getting it all. You're going to be happy as Larry as long as you stand in your power. Stand in your power. Don't let people 
run over you, take you for a dickhead. <laughs> the first card is the sun. You're going to be happy as Larry. Happiness is coming now. Abundance is coming now. This person is coming in to make you happy. I see wedding celebrations coming in real quick. Real quick. You waking the fuck up and knowing who you are. Manifesting this person. They're coming in. This is you being so happy. Standing in your power now. Not giving it over to all those people, those vampires who got strong while you got weaker. I see your dreams coming true. Wish fulfillment. You hit the jackpot, baby. So you're going to get exactly what you want, whoever you want. Coming into December, you are manifesting them. And they have no alternative but to come towards you now. Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you are manifesting one. And how do I know? Because here he is. So you've manifested him and he's here. No gender in tarot, so him or her is here for you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, wanting that child, those children. See the fish there? My mom said, me dream fish. Somebody's going to be pregnant, married, very happy. And I definitely see two children coming in. And there you are, happy as Larry, dancing to the rhythm of your own drum. Not letting nobody control you, telling you what to do, because you are the motherfucking star. You're that bitch. My, my phone's about to overheat. later. It looks like somebody doesn't want you lot to get this message, Sagittarius. My phone overheated, and it doesn't usually do that, so... I'm guessing that somebody shouldn't know about the blessings that's coming their way. You're supposed to stay sad. You're supposed to stay sad. Not believing that things will get better. But I'm here to tell somebody that things are about to turn in your favor. I see blessings coming your way. Divinely guided love. Because before the phone cut off, I said, You are that bitch. You are that boss. Double wish fulfillments, my Gs. Wishing upon a star and it coming true for you. I see Christmas love. People being so happy. Your person coming towards you. Children, peace. You getting what you deserve. The bottom of the deck. Because you stood your ground. You didn't back down. You grew through what you was going through. And it only made you stronger, wiser. This person loves this about you. They love the fact that you don't give up. Life knocks you down, but you, Sagittarius, you get right back up. And this person loves it about you. I see you being stagnant at this time in your love life. Things not moving, nothing's not happening, nothing's not going on for you. Well, look what's about to come in. That's why I know they didn't want you to get this message. You're supposed to stay stagnant. You're supposed to stay blocked. Because in this season, so much people have been trying to block love. Maybe like Taurus and Virgo, you got some haters, some exes that don't want you to move on that want you to stay stagnant not go anywhere be available to only them because I see you being fucking bored bored waiting for something to come just waiting missing what you lost not understanding that it was taken away because spirit look at that look at the hand you don't even see spirit bringing in 
the present for you. You're so busy looking at the past. Trying to get it back. I'm here to tell somebody that period is over, that person is gone. But you have new love. You have an offer, a divinely guided offer on the table. And this is going to bring in your happy family. It's going to be the answer to your prayers, to your manifestations. That's where your children and your dogs and your pets come in. So I see so much happiness for you, Sagittarius. So much. Let's get the romance deck. Because I feel like things changed a little bit because an hour passed in the read. But we're going to try and get it back, people. We're going to try and get it back. But it started to buzz. Message. Was, oh, there we go. And to you, that person that's trying to get things back, why would you get this back? Spirit says you were stuck in an unrequited relationship that had no love. There wasn't enough attraction or chemistry to keep it going. And for somebody else, you're still trying to hold on to this. You're still involved in a relationship that's not going anywhere, Spirit says. You're fighting the change. But all they want to bring you is new love. New love, Sagittarius. Because somebody's been watching you. And I feel like once you pay attention and put your focus on them, they're going to stir your romantic feelings. Because look, you ain't even getting married. You're jumping straight to the honeymoon. So this speaks to me of the honeymoon stage where everything is just happy as Larry Kushti. So I see you letting go of that ex. Embracing the change that this new love brings into your life. And I see butterflies, passion, People going through that honeymoon stage, the beginning where there's no arguing, everything is cushy. See you lot working on those partnerships now with this new person. Because this person is willing to work with you. So I see twin flames coming in. Could be a Gemini, it doesn't have to be. But it speaks of somebody coming in to balance you out, your yin or your yang. Here to give you those butterflies. Somebody's attracted to you. Somebody likes your vibes. They like the way that you do what you do, they said. Spirit says it's time for you to just finish your healing, though. Person is coming in. They can't deal with your baggage. If you don't want to go back around on these karmic cycles... It's time to heal those issues with your parents and forgive them. You don't have to talk to them, but it's time to forgive. For you, for your children, children to come, so you don't repeat these cycles. And there you are, lightening up, tapping in to that childlike energy. Laughing, giggling. Just enjoying every single moment of life because that is what somebody loves about you. That is what it is. They're attracted to you because you enjoy life to its fullest. You don't waste anything, any moments. You make them laugh. This person really digs you. Let's get some angel answer cards for you. Messages for Sagittarius. As my silly tooth gets in the way when I try and say you lot's sign. Oh, wow. They say yes. It's a yes from spirit. So that offer, 
they said say yes for the date for the engagement for the wedding for that baby they say yes if you need some help they said it's no shame in your game you can ask ask your friends but you have to open up allow people to come in and help you so you're going to have to learn to accept help <laughs> we could act success so do you know what I see when it comes like this and it says don't stop wow fucking wow so I see it's yes to a proposal of marriage ask your friends yeah because you're going to need them for bridesmaids, for grooms, is it groom? Not grooms, <laughs> bridesmaids, and what's the what's the guys you know I ain't being married yet? What's it? Or whatever the guys are, the best men. So you have to ask people to help you plan your wedding, because look, success with an exclamation mark. Wow, it's gonna be all cushy, man. Loving each other forever and ever, amen. And Spirit says, don't stop being you. Don't stop. This person loves it. Loves the way you are. The quirky you. The silly you. The beautiful you. All of you. So don't stop doing what you're doing. Because you're doing it well. You're doing it, you're doing it, you're doing it well. <laughs> Lick his lips, LL Cool J. And let's see what Sagittarius has to affirm. I think I skipped it out for um, Libra, but it's okay. What does Sagittarius have to affirm in the month of December, Spirit? Are you going to throw something out? No? Please? Okay, I'll draw it today. Just the top deck. Discovering your happiness. So I hear it's time for you to be happy again. Somebody's coming in. Butterflies. Can you hear Michael singing? You give me butterflies, he says. I allow myself to be content exactly as I am. That's you enjoying the moment fully. Every moment of it. Let's get a soulmate card. Let's get a quick soulmate card. Before I go over to the extended, don't know if I told you that before because I keep forgetting things, but this comes with an extended as you would have saw on the title. And if you want to see it, you have to join join my channel. There's a button next to next to the subscribe button for iPhone users. That button, the join button, is on the browser. Message triggers emotional baggage is running your show. It's time for Sagittarius to retrain their internal so their external can change. Message from spirit. So you need to change your mindset so everything else can change for you. Let's get a wellness card. Self-indulgence, that's what at the bottom of the deck. Somebody needs to do some work on themselves. Love themselves a little bit more. Take better care of themselves. Take yourself out on a date. My ears is buzzing. Somebody's not loving themselves. Why? Wow, look at that. Only take what what comes over. That's amazing. Because I was hoping it wasn't all of them. And it was one. Mask. And the bottom of the deck is coffin. Endings, my G. They're going to bring in those new beginnings. Can you see? Growing growth so you're going to be growing growing together in love just as long as you change the way that you think liberate yourself free yourself from those thoughts man they're not healthy transitioning you're making a change in your life and it starts with you gang gang I know that you lot are doing it wow tick tock so you don't need time to heal from these endings. 
But don't take too long because your new beginning is right around the corner. <laughs> Can you see? You're crying over spilt milk. Somebody that was quite deceitful, who lied to you, who wore a mask around you. Wolf in sheep clothing, I hear. They were gaslighting you, a narcissist. So you need time to heal from them, from the abuse and the trauma that they gave, that you experienced. But Spirit says, don't take too long. Because look at that. I can hear Brandy singing, a heartbroken. Because you are deeply hurt and sad, someone. You just broke up and you're feeling lost. And somebody has actually lost somebody. I saw transitioning before with the coffin card. So somebody has lost a loved one. And I hear that you're about to transition to a new phase in your life. Something's about to begin for you. Even though something ended so suddenly and traumatically. Something beautiful is coming. Something so amazing. Somebody wants to marry you. Go into union. Soul connection. This is eternal love. An everlasting promise. You can hear Jagged Edge, right? I promise, 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 promise. Someone wants you bad, bad, bad. More than the air that they breathe, they want you, Jasmine Sullivan. All these songs just drop it into my head. Someone's just playing song after song after song. Sagittarius. You got them wit. Wit, wit, wit. Someone loves you, man. They got a whole playlist with your name on it. <laughs> Probably entitled Wedding Songs. <laughs> Romance. Look at that. Can't make that shit up. Cupid arrow is pointed straight at your heart. Your heart. Yep, and it's going to strike. You're about to be in love. You say no, I say yes. So embrace this change. Because through each other, you are going to find the missing pieces. You will. It's going to all make sense when you find each other. But first, back to that forgiveness card. Stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your own reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Tell them the positive thoughts, right? And all of that shenazzle is going to bring you the man, woman that you seek. Let's get messages from the angels. Just one, please, and thank you for my Sagittarius crew. The angel ray, some self-care is needed. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. One more angel message, because I love you like that. And then the rest will go to the extended, my Gs. We're going to tap into the X. We're going to tap into your new person and just your overall energy. See what I go on for you. Your ear chakra. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. Like I said, I was hearing all them songs. So pay attention, my Gs, because if I didn't, then you wouldn't have the message. See? Pay attention. Remove all the blockages and the out the background noise and start listening. Go outside, get grounded. As long as it's not one, even if it's cold, just go and get grounded. Split the deck, your last message. This card reflects protection, freedom and success. Success again. You won't be quick or easy, but you will succeed. Oh, it won't. I said you won't be. <laughs> But you won't be. It won't be quick or easy. But you will succeed. And you are protected along 
the way. Free yourself (laughs) of past doubt, fear and guilt. Let go of fixed expectations. Be flexible, adaptable and open to to new avenues and ideas. A higher power is trying to guide you, my G's. (laughs) <laughs> Join me on the extended If not, this is Your girl D Virgo Tarot 2222 Sagittarius Gang gang I love you Oh we gonna play now Ready for the show I'm about to take down You already know Get the fuck out of my face now Yeah you gotta